Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Gemini Soul, guys. I've been in your guys' energy. Um, so we're going to do like a birthday reading. It looks like with the cards on the table, some of you could be dealing with some love, some relationships. Don't have to be, you know, that you're in love with someone, but it is surrounding love with the cards that came out. Some of you all dealing with the purpose that you feel you're figuring out your purpose or you've been meditating, you've been grounding yourself. I feel you've made a lot of changes. You were anticipating your season coming and you've had a lot of changes from what I'm feeling, the energy. Gemini, this may not resonate with all of you guys. This is more like a, I was going to do a love reading, but I was guided to just open up the energies for your season and see where you're at, Gemini. So it may not resonate with all of you and maybe next time. But if it does, I just ask you to support me by giving a thumbs up, comment, sharing it with maybe a Gemini that you may know that's going through this or may feel this way at this time. We're going to talk about the energies that I pull while I was in um, my meditation state when it came to your season, Gemini. And the first card that came out was purpose. And this is from a uh, soul's journey. And it says, I know what I am here to do. Some of you have been so enlightened. I talked about feeling a energy change, like a energy surge is what I'm hearing. Like whatever you've been doing, you've realized that whatever that was, it didn't give you, uh, maybe in certain ways you was moving, it didn't give you the outcome that you actually wanted. And I feel like it's because you were trying to find your purpose. You could have been working on yourself. Maybe something happened in your life and you got to a point where you feel like you were stuck or stagnant, like you couldn't move forward. You didn't know what the next thing was. Um... You just felt like you needed some guidance, maybe push, maybe your energy's been low, Gemini, and you just couldn't wait for your season to come because you're just like, okay, right? Because we are dealing with Sagittarius and Leo uh, energy at, th at this time, and uh, Leo is about, you know, movement, commitment. Sagittarius is definitely on the go, so I feel some of you had some energy surge. With this energy surge, I feel like you actually are feeling like you understand your purpose now, like what it is you need to be doing. And if not, that is definitely what you're working on. Like what is your next move, Gemini? That's what I feel. Like that is your whole goal. What should I be doing? What makes me feel good? What have I let go? What have I learned? Um, uh, I just feel like that you're doing a lot of inner work. And that inner work is because you was at a point where you just felt doubtful of what was next. Or even if you were on the right path. Your second card that came out is love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Some of you may have dealt with some difficult times. I'm feeling that. Like perhaps you had to change jobs. You had to relocate some things. Maybe you had some relationship issues, not all necessary, got to be, you know, romantic, but I'm feeling that there's been some romantic issues who haven't had them, right? Um, but I feel that you are now opening back up your energy, your spirit, your your heart, your emotions, or maybe you were shut down and you just like, maybe the love thing ain't for me. People don't get it. They're not giving the way I need them to give. Or you realize you were not opening up to give and which to receive the love that you deserve, Gemini. And I feel that now, oh, this is two cards. I didn't know. Trust is under the bottom. I didn't know that that was two. I thought it was only three cards here. So you got four cards. So we got trust. If you are Gemini Cancer Cuss or you got a lot of Gemini uh, Cancer in your chart, definitely check that reading out. It was a love reading. But trust, they had a situation was trust was what needed to happen. Like after all of said and done and all that you've been through, you were uh, entering a new situation and uh, trust was a big part of it, right? Anxiety, fears, but yet knowing that this felt good, but you just 
have fear and trusting if this was the right path, right? And with purpose here, the universe is telling you, if you are, if you've met someone, Gemini, you got to have trust, right? And it says, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. That's because you are finding your purpose. You are trusting in the divine, the universe, your higher you, trusting in you, trusting. Some of you are really looking at the lessons that you learn. And whatever this situation is, if it has to do with love, it could be family. Um, you are actually, I feel, evaluating situations now. People in your life, people that you share your energy with. I feel some of you pull back so much because you had to figure out what was best for you. I feel within that time, some of you Geminis wanted to be alone, maybe not want to be in a relationship, but you're like, why am I study being involved in relationships? Because people are drawn to you. You're like a magnet. The more Gemini you work on yourself and know what it is that you don't want, it's the same as I told in Gemini Cancer Cuss. You're not so much focusing on what you want, Gemini. You're focusing on what you don't want in your life. And that seems to be very clear because that's helping you to find your purpose, whether it be in love, financial, new adventures, whether it's building something in the physical or a building yourself back up. Um, I'm seeing a lot of you reworking, right? We do that in Gemini season. In case you don't know, I'm a Gemini cancer cuss. So when the season starts to come, there's an energy surge. I feel that you're getting some of you redoing your hair, some cutting the hair, some just doing a new style. If you haven't been making your face up, you're doing that uh, for the males, you know, and, and it's all about energy, right? So depending on what energy you're in, the more masculine or feminine. But for the males, if you've just been the everyday mundane, you're putting a little spice to yourself, right? You may be getting a special type of haircut. You may be grooming yourself up different, trying something different. And with this, you're looking at yourself in the mirror and feeling very positive about the direction you're going in. I just feel that you feel that something has finally... Um, what I'm hearing completed a cycle, ended a cycle, where it was a cycle if you didn't trust, or maybe it was a cycle that you just felt that people could not meet you where you needed to be, or you, or they were not capable of having a, a committed or open relationship with you where you can actually bond. And Geminis love to communicate. They love bondage, but they're not stupid either, right? Because, you know, Geminis stay in the head. You're always thinking usually of the, mess, the next best thing. So I feel that maybe your creativity had fell off or maybe you just felt stuck or stagnant at some point in time. And you're just getting past that. Whether it's a love loss that didn't work, you're accepting that for what it was. I'm also hearing some of you may have received some information about a love, a love that you may have been committed or had a relationship with. And um, you may have heard that they're moving on or something has happened in their life. And people may even think that you'd be upset about it, but you're not. You're good. You're like, well, I'm glad for that person. Like, I feel like you're not angry. Gemini, I feel like there may have been a time where you were angry. And maybe you wasn't expressing the way you felt about things. But the anger came from you accepting something. Accepting something. Rather, who you are and what it is that you truly wanted and not to settle for less. Or if it was just a situation that needed time to heal and, and mend. Um, I feel like even... And this is not all Gemini's, but I feel like even some people in the past are trying to uh, circle back and you have realized there's no circling back. Like I've been there, I've indulged in that energy. I wasn't happy. The person wasn't happy. It's like you feel like I'm not doing this anymore. This is what I'm hearing for show and, sell, show and tell no more. I am doing this now because this is what I truly want. This is my purpose, is to be happy in life. And to use my smarts and my wit is what I'm hearing to get where I want to get in life on this path. We have death here. That's why I feel like 
you are taking exception of some doors has closed behind you, some relationships, some people you've disconnected from, and you're understanding why these things had to happen. Maybe you didn't understand it then, Gemini, but you're understanding why you're on this new path or why you had to disconnect from a lover or ex-friend. Or maybe I'm hearing cleaning out your Rolodex. I'm hearing you just like, okay, I don't need these numbers anymore. And also I heard somebody's in a relationship. And the last thing they're going to do is let something from the past keep them from their future. Now, this could be you or someone you're dealing with. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be a mindset that you have that you've changed, understanding your purpose here. But the death card said, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. You are learning that you are on a new path. You have growth under the bottom. And I feel like this is like a magnet of uh, people, new people may be coming into your life, community, friends. Uh, maybe there is a new love or a new love found uh, that you've been working on. I'm also feeling with the release and trusting that whatever in the past you've learned the lessons and you're letting that go. Okay, I'm hearing, yeah, that the judgment is under the bottom. Okay, I feel like, yeah, there was a judgment, judgment relationship. It just goes on and on in patience. I feel that you were so patient with past relationships. You made a judgment on it. You looked at it for what it was. You are now accepting something that you could not accept before. And I feel that your spirit guides, you may be seeing synchronicities. I'm seeing 444. I'm seeing 555. 24, 24, if it means anything to you. Um, it could be your birthday. It could be someone's birthday surrounding it. I'm also seeing uh, like cancer season very heavy. I'm seeing Leo season. So you could be dealing with any of those things or you could have cancer. And of course, uh, Leo uh, want heavy in your chart. Maybe it's your rising. Um, but I'm feeling like there's so much stuff that you have evolved and released. And you did it because you've been very patiently waiting to have this energy that pushes you forward. I also feel there may be someone coming in your life that also is assisting you. Now, I am seeing some beautiful wings. You may have lost someone, Gemini. And this person is telling you that just, this is what I'm hearing. Just keep going, right? Um, that they're, that you're protected. Some of you may have felt like in the past, perhaps someone tried to, you know, put some type of curse or voodoo or wish bad on you because they didn't like the way you moved or how you left or how you spoke or how you showed up in a situation. And you're putting an end to that. If you had any grudges or anger against that, it's like, Gemini, you happy for everybody. you like, I hope everybody find their happiness, okay? I do feel there's an ex in the past that you really work to get over. And this person, rather, yeah, I'm hearing they haven't really truly released you, that you'll always be a part of them. This is not for all, but this is what I'm hearing. There's someone in your past that feels that perhaps one day, you know, things will change. But I feel there's a door that, that I just said, you know, I say you like, no, closing the door, putting a chain on it, putting a lock on it, like pushing a chair up or a table, whatever, up to the door. Like, no, you cannot come back here. I'm, I'm so done with that. That's what I'm seeing in the death card. And if it's not a relationship uh, or, or a personal relationship, like a soulmate or someone you thought you was going to end your days with, this is a situation that you are no longer involving yourself in. And you like, listen, I'm closing this door. Whatever happens on the other side is truly going to be up to them because I'm moving this away. That is what I'm hearing. And that's because of growth. That is because you have grown, Gemini. I want to expand my conscious and my awareness. And I feel that is exactly what you made a judgment on. I feel something was holding you back because maybe something you invested in, you had to start over or it didn't look 
very clear or understandable to you what it is that you were doing or how you should be moving. I obviously hear some of you didn't know how to start over. But now that you look at yourself, you're like, wow, look at me. Not only did you start over, Gemini, some of you have exceeded your own expectations. That is what I'm hearing. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into it. And I'm just pulling out messages and see what the spirit has for you, Gemini. I ain't trying to make these too long, but this is your season message and the energies you're dealing with or that you could be dealing with, right? It just... It is however it shows up. Now, do know it could be ended. That's a lot, spirit. Okay. We're just going to go over it really quick. We have the black egg. You're hatching something beautiful. Something that you've, again, been held to the dark that is coming to the light. Whatever that is for you. If that's a new job, it's a relationship, it's a new you. I just feel with under the bottom the the black egg talks about the hatchment that needed time to grow, right? You had the judgment, you had the patient card. And what does the egg do in time? It hatches, it grows, something comes out, life. Ooh, that's what I heard, Gemini, new life. Some of you got a whole new life. That's what I heard. People don't even see you as, I don't know, I'm hearing they seen you in the past, but they're seeing you in the new light. And they see that you have a whole new life. You have a new abundance. And maybe you don't have that old job no more. Maybe you've been known to be a nurse and you're not being known as a nurse no more. Maybe you went into law or you open your own business and you're doing something different from the way you used to do it. And people are not used to that. Okay? And the reason I say that because you got shark. Now, rather, shark represents feeling like there's um, a threat. Now, whether it's true or not, this is like feeling like someone may be circling you, you know, like they waiting to attack. But I feel like, you know, that this may have been you for quite some time. Like if I move left or right, you know, people are going to attack me for how I show up. They're attacking me for who I am. And I am me. And it's, and it's also, I feel this is the energy of you saying, I'm ready. Like, if you bring that wrong energy to me, I'm not going to sit up here and have to argue and fight with you. I'm going to say what I need to say, and I'm going to move on. And, and I feel that whoever you have to avoid this to, they're going to know you're not playing. That's just how I feel. They're just going to be like, what? Like, maybe you never talked to them like that before, Right. And, but you look, you have the otter. The otter represents magic. It represents love, emotions. Uh, I see it like the queen of cups. I see it like the ten of pentacles. This is like, man, I am only looking for things that really completes me, make me feel good and happy. And if you're not part of that, then you're going to be told that. <laughs> like, I'm going to tell you that and move right on on to my happy space, right? It's like also with your back turn towards anything that think is going to come in and destroy your happiness you like you just don't know i'm ready for it i don't want to have to behave that way but i will but i feel you're going to do it in a loving way a way that they can't even be negative about it like people are sometimes so busy into what it is someone else is doing that they are not focusing on their own life and i and this is what I'm hearing, Gemini, and I hate to say this, but you feeling like sometimes you were dealing with a bunch of idiots that always want to tell you how to move, and they wasn't even moving successful in their own relationships. I heard marriage. Like, maybe they wanted to counsel you about being in a relationship or counsel you about being married or counsel you about how you should find a relationship. Well, I feel like, Gemini, you like, in time I will find it, but I won't settle for less. You're not going to tell me that I'm at this age or I need to stop talking to this person or that person because you want me in a committed relationship. Now, this could deal with family, right? They may feel that you're a little too free, that you're running about and you got quite a few friends and whatever. But you are accepting yourself for who you are, figuring out yourself, your purpose. And I just heard some of you realize what your mom or your dad wanted you to be. It don't matter what age you are, right? You could be 
25 or you could be 50. You realize something that was instilled in you or something that you wanted or you thought you wanted that was your, your purpose was not. And you were changing that now, right? And some people may not, you know, also here too. Some people be, may feel like this free style energy of opening up and emotions and because and, and, it's a lot of water and, and maybe even people seeing you differently that you might get yourself in some trouble here, okay? But again, you got your back to the naysayers, Gemini. This is what I see. Now look at the B. The B is busy, busy, busy. This is, oh, look at all these cards. Look, all, all this is about work. Look, you have the bee, you have the beaver. The bee represents a gift, something you've been working on for quite some time. And it's coming, you got the egg, it's hatching. Whether it's a beautiful new start, a beautiful way of feeling about yourself, of accepting of yourself. And I'm not saying, Gemini, that you never accepted and loved yourself, but I think you're at the point now, or if you're not, as the season is growing, you're getting in a point to, if it's not healthy, this is what I'm hearing, if it's not a healthy relationship, I'm releasing it. I'm not looking at it. I'm not working on it. It's like you're only going to work on things that you feel and it's not selfish, Gemini. You're only working on things that you feel has some reward in it. A rewardful, loving, caring relationship. Or uh, you're only going to work at a job that sees your worth. You walked away from a job that didn't give you. Maybe you've been asking for a raise or you want to move up or whatever it is. This is the energy of never settling for less. This is like I've worked too hard to get where I am. And I'm not going to let you and no one else keep me from moving forward on this path. Whether it's a lost love or a relationship you had to let go of, understanding that you're... But the one thing you realize, though, that you are gifted and you are a hard worker and you deserve this. Some of this, Gemini, you have built on your own. And I'm hearing someone wants to come in and help. Or build in. And you got a little problem with that trust. Because you're like I'm good on my own. I don't have to open up. And, and, and start or build anything with anyone. I could do this by myself. It's a choice. So I, mean, I just feel like you're making a choice. And I feel that the universe. Has something so special. For you. For all the work that you've put in. You know here as the beaver. You've put work in. You've worked on this. This is not something that was given to you. I also feel you working on your emotions, your ability to love and care and open up for those that share as much love and care. That I'm hearing a stable love, okay? There is a stable love, a lot of work being put into a commitment, a relationship. Now, this could be all, you could be taking all this energy all onto yourself. Maybe you realize you had invested in too many situations, too many places, and you're bringing that energy in and you are really tuning in on putting all of that work on yourself. And the, oh my God, these are so beautiful. Y'all reading, this is going to be long, Gemini. Look at here. We have the horse and the butterfly. The horse is my queen of pentacles, honey. My horse, the, it, is, it could be male or female, take it how you rather. But the horse represents I'm strong enough to get through all of this. Been there, done that. Maybe I had to start over. Maybe I, I just heard Gemini, you say I'm built for this. I'm built. Whatever trials and tribulations or things you went through in the past, disappointments, uh, hard times, exception, being in your head, doubting yourself, whatever it is has brought you to a place that you see how strong you are. And you're like, I'm ready. Like, I don't even feel that you got any problem with connecting in a relationship because you know exactly what you don't want. And that is what I keep hearing in these readings lately. People are not focusing on what they want anymore. They're just focusing on what they don't want, right? And they're letting the universe take care of the rest. So, Jim and I feel you've been talking to the universe. So like, okay, I know I've been manifesting and 
Some of you, right? I feel you've been talking this away, and I want this, and I want the house, the cars, and this. And what you're saying is, I don't want a car that's going to break down on me every day, right? I don't want a person that's going to come in that's not emotionally available to love me back. I don't want a person in here that don't have a job that I got to help get a job. Like, you just realizing what you don't want. Like, I don't want a person that can't come in and give equal give and take, that don't see my worth. That's what you're focusing on, right? And that's what that trans, the butterflies of transformation. You have turned into a beautiful, strong, male or female, it doesn't matter. This transformation has did something for you that you, it took some time for you to accept. I feel that you've been doing it all the time. And now that you're looking at yourself, you're like, I really have been working on myself. I really have forgiven some relationships. I really see what I've played, what part I've played, what I've allowed to happen in my life. And you are taking full control of your life and you're taking it with ease because you have support. The universe, yeah, we have the golden egg. You are the golden egg. You are the support in the universe, in the collective. The collective needed you to hatch this, right? Because look, you have it. It was prepared. It's been there waiting to hatch. And I feel now you are hatching the golden egg. That is the name of this reading. Now you are hatching the golden egg, right? So it's been marinated. It's been sitting there. Maybe you, you know, like a, like a, let me see, like um a chicken or whatever, where they had to, they, they let the egg out and they sit on it. It's a, it's a bird. I don't know. I'm, I'm just seeing a lot right now. And you just been sitting on it, like, you know, maybe having a dream of gold and not sure how to move forward in it. Some obstacles, things came in your life. Some little hard, maybe lost a job, maybe had to rebuild. Maybe you left someone behind. They left you behind, whatever. And you just been sitting there keeping that egg. Uh, the egg represents life. Keeping it nice, warm, comfort, feeding it, taking care of it, doing the best you can with what you had. And now some, the egg is hatched. And now you're getting the beautiful rewards from this hatched egg. <laughs> That's that the golden egg has hatched. That's, that is what I'm hearing. After a beautiful transformation, transformation. So, seeing, look at that bee, right? And look, look at this yellow. Like, and it started from your emotions within. It started from you loving, caring for yourself, and understanding exactly what you will work for and what you will not. And this is like Gemini. I'm only Gemini. It's like I'm only working for things that's gonna make sense. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Gemini, if it don't make sense, you ain't going. You ain't doing it. If it puts you in doubt or fear or you realize, yes, you're very intuitive, right? Because you you got this water going on right here. Not this shark, this whole thing. It's like you putting all that doubt behind you. Even the fear. Some of these fears could have been within yourself. I'll never find another lover. I'll never find the perfect job or the home or I would never be able to afford this. Or and the universe is like, yeah, you're about to afford it all. <laughs> and then this is a, this is, you've done the work, Gemini. You're about to afford it. And guess what? With the cobra under the bottom, I could go on and on. <laughs> I could go on and on, Gemini, with y'all season reading here. Listen, the cobra, this is you waiting for the right time to make your move. Rather, this is in a relationship. This is an adventure. Some of you could be built, you know, make, I just heard making clothes. Uh, some of you are really being very creative. I don't know. You could be a beautician. You could, you have just changed something about you that has really empowered you. And you know, you have the tools to do what this is. Oh, I also heard Gemini, somebody got their eye on you. And they know what comes with Gemini is a golden egg. They know to invest or come your way or have any dealings or be in your energy or you allow them to be in, in your energy brings success for them. But it's not, I don't feel it's in a bad way, Gemini. I feel like they feel like they want to, somebody is waiting to collaborate with you. It's what I'm getting when I'm looking at this. This is also a person just as strong as you that's went through a transformation. Now, it don't have to be a lover. It could be. But I'm seeing towards Virgo or Capricorn. I'm also seeing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
Taurus Virgo Capricorn is strong too. Again, um, I am seeing a Leo. And I'm seeing that you could be just empowering all of this, right? Because the, the horse card is the earthy card. And then you have the beaver, you know, animal. And you have the butterfly, which is Gemini, the wings, the transformation, the air within it. It's like, I don't know. I heard build it and they will come. <laughs> I don't know what you're building. What you doing? Are you doing Noah's Ark? <laughs> No, but you're taking a little bit of everything and putting a mixture together, Gemini. This is what I'm hearing. I don't know what you're cooking up here, but it's beautiful. And it's going to, or whatever you have been cooking up, now it's time for it to hatch. Rather, this, you know, this is not with all, but I'm hearing there may be even a relationship that you've been putting on the back burner because you felt there were some things you needed to do, and it was within yourself. And maybe this person is definitely waiting because they see this transformation in you. Also, someone see how smart you are. Fiery, that firefly. They see how, how this, it's like you light, I'm hearing you light somebody up. You also help, you, you're also helping somebody get on their feet. You're helping somebody reach higher than they ever thought they could. Okay, I see you as support. But I feel this is something you felt you was meant to do. If there is a person you're dealing with and you needed to trust because you're like, I'm helping people. And when I help people, then it just seems like they're not there or they leave or whatever. This support is support that's supporting your dreams and you're supporting someone else's dreams and goal. And it has to do with happiness. That is what I'm hearing is wisdom. I also, I'm hearing you're lighting up somebody's life. Someone could be very proud of you too, Gemini, like your mom or an ancestor or a grandmother uh, a grandfather, somebody very wise uh, is seeing you in this firefly, like lighting up, lighting. Maybe you even feel you connecting or you feel their energies. Maybe you've had dreams about them lately. Someone very close, but I feel they're in a... a, a um, a elder age, someone maybe even that you, maybe, even if they may be in the 3D, you know, um, it could be a water sign too, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, but there is, and then you could be lighting up somebody's life that's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, you're mean, you have a meaning in someone's life, like, they're taking on your wisdom and your knowledge. Like you could be guiding them. You could be teaching them. You could be a counselor, a mentor, or just is someone come in your life. And I feel that this, whoever this is, they're not holding back. They're expressing to you how they adore you or how they enjoy being in your energy. Or I don't know this. I just feel like somebody has you on the pedestal. And that you're shining bright because whatever you're working on or whatever you're doing, whatever changes has happened, I feel like some of you are working on projects. Some things are happening and people are, oh, I hear people are just stopping to stare at you. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you did to yourself or I don't know how you're showing up. But Gemini, you're showing up in a way where people can't help but stop and stare. Now, I am hearing some people looking like, really? This is what you're doing now is what I heard. Somebody might even tell you that. But you know why they're telling you that? Because of your bravery. Like you made a change that probably they could never do. Or you've given them hope, Gemini. You've given some people hope. Because I feel like you're, you're bright. Like you have a, like, look, this is all beautiful. And these are the people watching. They just, and some people just waiting on the next move. They're like, I know Gemini finna do something. What is Gemini finna do? And they want to be a part of it too. Yeah, they do. Somebody wants to be a part of it. Now, if you're allowing them to, they're going to have to check their energy because you're not playing. You're straight moving forward with this transformation. Is you just literally saying, I'm built for this. I got this. I'm trusting. You're trusting in love. You're seeing your purpose in life. And you're letting all the things that no longer serve you fall to the wayside for growth. 
This is beautiful. And this is a time of coming out of darkness. This is a time of rising above the unknown. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going this way. <laughs> is what I'm hearing. I don't know what direction. I don't know exactly where this is leading, but I have a bigger purpose than what I'm doing right now. And you're understanding that purpose. And you're getting the downloads and, and the energy uh, surge to say, I'm going. I am freaking going. And you don't care what nobody say. They can say whatever they want to say. No, no. If it doesn't sit right with you, they're going to be on the wayside. <laughs> because the death card definitely talks about, and we have uh, the hyena. You know, the hyena is in the dark and the light. So, Gemini, you got some people that's going to be, <laughs> but as soon as you turn your back, I can't stand you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they can't stand you because they love you. They can't stand you because you're showing them something they could have been doing for themselves. Or you showing them how something didn't keep you down. How you got back up. They never will understand it. Some of you Geminis then tell people something may have happened and maybe you strayed away or you got out of the limelight for a while. And people heard of things. But it's like when you come back, you bigger and, and powerful or the light is so much bigger and brighter than when you left. And you thought you was doing it then, Gemini. No, you're doing it now. You're doing it now. That that was like a tip, what you call the tip of the iceberg. They should take a look at you now. And that's what I feel some people are doing. Yes, I do. Um, let me just see. What let's get some tarot here, y'all. Then I'm gonna close this out. I really wanted to catch a whole lot of different look, one more. Let's do this and then we're going to tarot because I've been guided to this. This is the eye of Zing. Let's just see what was all this transformation for your season and, and this egg hatching, this happiness, this, man, I just see you in a, it's like, it's go time. <laughs> That's what I hear. It's like go time. Like you have the tools, like you ex uh, extending. What is that? Gemini? You're Gemini. And I feel like, you don't mind doing it all by yourself, but I feel you're extending something to someone. You're giving them an opportunity or others opportunity. Some way you're showing up in someone's life that is making someone feel very empowered, Gemini. I don't, I don't know who that's for, but you're showing up in, however you're moving, someone's watching you. Maybe that's it. They're just, the watch because you did have a hyena like they may not be telling you some somebody's not telling you certain things but they trying to move like you moving they trying to be inspired by how you're doing things is what i'm hearing uncertainty a true romantic connection is unclear a deeper understanding is required yeah somebody don't understand me <laughs> it's unclear to them how you're so strong how you move on? How you just come out of the dark like this? How did you, I'm hearing, get away from a long-term commitment? Whether it was a marriage or just a long-term commitment and land on your feet. Um, we got confession, wait, confusion. <laughs> the present is clouded. The future uncertain. More information is needed for clarity. It was in reverse. Like you have what you need. And, and, and I also feel that the people that's watching you, like you got people watching you, Gemini, and they're just waiting. Uh, some of these people are being very inspired by you and are looking up to how strong you have shown up. I don't know where you being, Gemini. I don't know where you're going or where you heading, but somebody sees this and they like, wow. I feel like you have some people, uh, I just heard, some people in their emotions, they're really happy for you, truly happy for you, Gemini. And it's almost like, and now this, I'm hearing this could be a mother, it could be a father, it could be a past on loved one, ancestor, someone. But someone is really in their emotions of how you're showing up right now. It's like you got that go-getter energy. Like at the end of the day, what didn't kill you made you stronger. 
And I'm so proud of you myself, Gemini, because I'm feeling this energy. At the end of the day, you accepting that like you are, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're handsome, you're, you're strong. Like something has happened in your life and you've worked on it and it didn't come easy. You had so many doubts and control. It says, assess yourself and take charge of your destiny. And that's what I feel like you had troubles in the past of really taking control because you had a lot of naysayers and you didn't want to step on people's toes. Some people you didn't want to leave behind. And some people you, you just felt if you loved them from a distance, everything will be okay. But I think that they stayed in your energy, which kept you barred down and you needed to release them. This is what I'm hearing. This is not what all. Okay. And then we have um, Express, a time to have heart to heart conversations. Yeah, I feel, feel these people that's witnessing you, they're going to come to you, Gemini. They want to talk to you. Some people want to know how you did it. And it's in a good way, in a positive way of helping. Uh, yeah, some of you could be readers now. Reiki, uh, I'm hearing this, have a spiritual calling. Some people could be coming to you for answers now. Um, but I feel in some way, there are people around you that just rooting for you. This is what I'm hearing. And I feel like you're so much colorful and brighter. Like if you, I also, this is why, if you used to wear a lot of dark colors, Gemini, I'm seeing orange, I'm seeing green, I'm seeing uh, purple, I'm seeing a, a very light purple, like lilac. Uh, 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 I'm seeing, um, uh, uh, oof, what is it? It just, what is this? Lilac? I, I, it's, it's, whew, okay. lavender, lavender, that is what I'm seeing, lavender, so maybe, maybe you have lavender candles, maybe you redecorating with purple, or lavender is really light, maybe that's how you zing in, oh yeah, look at this, it's like this, okay, and that's love, so that could be your heart, your emotions opening up, like you being there and trusting that's what I'm hearing. You trust in your heart. You trust in what your heart deserves. That's what I'm hearing. How long is this? Oh, my goodness. Okay, Tarot. Let's get Tarot. That's going to be from... Some of you let go control issues, too. Some of you had so much control issues about how you thought someone should show up or how they should act or how, you know, people should... And I feel like some of you Gemini's, you let that control go. You like, I'm finna let people show me who they are. I feel like you got some Aquarius in you, right? Or uh, um, and, and Gemini does that too. Uh, I feel like you sit back and stop taking control of the wheel. And just like, and some of you just let go and let God. It's like, you know, took your hand off the wheel and letting him guide you because you were just fighting, trying to get down that path in which he needed you to go. But you wanted to stop off here and stop off and he needed you to go in a certain way, right? Whatever you believe in, it could be your higher you fighting against something that you knew. Like you was in an area or a place way too long. Like you needed new energy, new friends, a new opportunity, and you knew it, but you became complacent in some way. That's what I'm hearing. That's not for all of you, but it's for some. Okay. Let's just get some closing cards here. Messages for Gemini spirit in their season. I see them bright and yellow and pretty and glowing and handsome and ready to take on the world. And the universe is giving them all the support that they need. And including bringing people and situations in your life that's going to be very supportive. But you're making changes in people's lives too. Like, that's what I'm seeing, Gemini. And I'm not just tweeting <laughs> your horn. I'm telling you just what I told you. Look at this. I can't make it up. You are healing people. First of all, you heal. You had to work on your healing. The universe has been there for you and worked on this healing within you. And you are now able to create. And I feel. Uh, 
now, when I look at this card, it is definitely could be dealing with Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart. And I said that already, right? But this is about healing. This is a wish fulfillment. This is knowing how to do it, how to balance it out. That cup with water here and then the cup behind it. And she's pouring it out in her emotions and then in the earth. So you're talking about you're taking a financial situation, dealing with it emotionally. There may be an emotional situation that you're dealing with someone that wants to come in and support you financially. And it's an equal give and take. Because they've done the healing or you're a part of their healing. You're part of their journey. And, and, and they are a part of yours. That's what I'm hearing, Gemini. Now, again, you could be dealing with Aquarius. It could be a Cancer Pisces. This is what I'm hearing. Scorpio, Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. I mean, it, they could be in all this energy when it comes to you because y'all building something. Now, look at here. We have the... Who had this? Cuff... Cusper had this, uh, the nine of swords, they had the nine of swords, but not the six of cups, not in this manner. I feel this is, uh, a time of someone, and I don't feel this is your energy, Gemini. Someone's having anxiety about the past. They're having dreams about the past, something that they thought they would have. Oh, okay. All right, spirit. Spirit is saying that this situation this person knows what happened in the past between you. Now, perhaps this person was not ready. And perhaps you gave too much, Gemini. Or you didn't give enough. Or you didn't get what you wanted. At, whatever this situation is. But there is someone having sleepless nights about how they treated you in the past. That's what I heard about that. And they see you healing and moving on with your life. Yes, and you could have kids with this person. It could be a family member, but I'm looking at this. It's like it's something precious. <laughs> they realize how precious you really were, Gemini, and how precious. I'm hearing how much you truly did love them, how much you truly was given to a relationship, and they're having anxiety. You're moving on. If this is a relationship you left behind, and you're wondering how this person is doing, Gemini, they're reminiscing. They're having dreams and they're missing and they're seeing you. So I don't know if you're in the limelight, you're on the internet. Oh yeah. And they know that there's no coming back. They know that you're never going back that way. If you're here for a Gemini and you are wondering if Gemini is going back to an ex, because Cusper had that in there. That door is closed. That lesson's been learned. And that's why all this beautiful healing and abundance and joy and happiness and transformation and you're built for this is happening because this journey is forward. It's not backwards. Okay. And look what, this is how it is. This is how it came out, right? Because it's in front of it. This is definitely saying bye to the past. Okay. And you're saying bye to someone that is now... <laughs> They're having some, some nights about wishing they had did things differently with you. That's all I know. However that plays out for you. Whether they, oh, ooh, yes. What does that feel? Oh, my goodness, guys. I'm leaving this here so I can get the card that fell on the floor so you can see. I'm not making this up. I, I can't make it up. Gemini, you are well on your way with your good emotions, overflowing, loving, you're healed. There's a victory. Somebody in the past sees that, but you are moving in a, in, in a space, a direction, in time that you, you, you're not even going to even recognize the past in a minute, okay? A lot of people know you deserve it. You do have people applauding, but you got people sitting back with sunglasses on too, just so you know. I see it. I see him. <laughs> I see him, Gemini. I see him. Man, I see somebody with red hair. Gemini. I said, oh my God. Gemini. I cannot. Somebody has strip strip um somebody has stripes, strips. No. Is that paint? Is it uh, Maybe they paint. I don't know. Maybe they got uh, like uh, green strip stripes. I don't. Uh, okay. Somebody got some colorful hair, and I just 
I'm sorry, but from what I'm seeing, they just a fool. Maybe that's it. They was just a fool. That's maybe because the way I'm seeing this person, it's like you was just a fool to let Gemini get away from you. Like <laughs> you was just a fool. And you're about to learn this lesson. Judgment was here. So it's just, it's, and Gemini have outgrown you. Gemini is no longer dealing with those shenanigans with you. <laughs> this is what I'm hearing. Like, it's no more. It's done. However, you used to manipulate Gemini or how Gemini showed up for you or track back. There's no track back. Gemini is moving forward and emotionally available for the right love and commitment that's coming towards Gemini if they're not already in it. This also represents Gemini. You in some type of committed relationship and it's a victory on the horizon, right? Because it's hatching. And this person I feel has been waiting and they watching you like, yes, I got my Gemini. I don't know what y'all been doing, but my Gemini, I got it, and we're moving forward, and people are going to see it. That's what I, I mean, that's what I hear. Yes, we got the two of pentacles under the bottom. <sighs> Let me see. And then we got the knight of wands. Yeah, somebody juggling whether they should come in and say something to you. They may want to say something about something in the past, some family you had, some love they had, or maybe they feel like, you know, they could talk to you. They're still passionate about you. They, maybe they used to run in and out of your life and you thought you was going to have this foundation with them. Somebody might even still think you're going to give them opportunity for a fresh start, but it's not here. It's not happening because you got the two of ones. You're moving on. You're moving on. Whatever is in front of you, that's all you're looking at. You got your, your back to the past, Gemini. Gemini, I might even name that that Gemini got their back to the past because a golden egg is hatching. Gemini got their back to the past because a golden egg has hatched or going to hatch or is hatching. I don't know what I'm going to name it. Y'all put it down in below when, because if you got this energy and you know exactly what that title should be. Uh, I'm a minute already tired of it, but I sure would love to hear from you guys. Love and light, Gemini. I wish y'all the best in y'all season. And this energy is so beautiful. Bye, Gemini.